elite golfers, experienced golfers, scratch golfers, welcome. We're now talking about your grip. I've done two videos before. Last video a couple of days ago was intermediate grip. Sorry, intermediate player's grip. A couple of days before that was a beginner's grip. And now we're at the, the top of the game. Top of the game. So this is a little bit more in-depth, obviously. Um, if it's too technical for you, go back to the previous video, intermediate. You may be able to pick something from there, something from here. Maybe even something from beginners. Please feel free to chop and change small videos. Um, but today... In this video, we're going to talk about the elite player grip. Okay, so now, grip can determine, the last video talked about how grip can determine trajectory, trajectory, struggled with that word in the last video as well. And now we're going to talk about how ball position is determined by grip as well, or how they work together. Oh, it's tricky. Okay, we all know at this level, that we all know that there's interlock, there's overlap, there's ten finger, we know where the hand the club goes in the hand, we know the, there's different grip positions, we know all that, we're all, we're all, we're all at that level. Um, however, ball position can be determined by grip, so I'm just going to quickly talk you through something that's the anatomy of your body, how, how the body works, okay? So, to get in an inline position, my body has, up here is my, my shoulder joint, is my glenohumeral joint, okay, so we'll call it GH, glenohumeral, ball and socket joint in my shoulder. Then I come down and I have this little triangular part of my left. So I've got ball and socket, GH. I've got this little triangle in here. The term for that is the anticubital fossa. Anticubital fossa. Okay, in there. We'll call it AC or AF. Anticubital fossa. GH. We'll call it A joint. And then in here we have Snuff box. <laughs> Snuff box, that's what it's called. Snuff box, AJ, glenohumeral. Okay, so these all work together. So that when they're in line, like so, that's my body and it's in line position. Okay, and that impact, I want them to be in line. Okay, so now they have to be in line with something. So in order for me to swing correctly and get this in line position, they have to be in line with the sweet spot of the golf club. Okay, so the sweet spot of your golf club is right in the middle of the face. Wrong. It's not right in the middle of the face at all. If there's all this mass in the heel, then the centre of gravity will have to move further back in order for it to play correctly. So the this, this sweet spot or the centre of gravity is not in the middle of the club face. Manufacturers put little marks in the club face to make you sure you hit it out of the middle. Um, they would never put one. They put it there because it's aesthetically, when you look down, that's where the middle of the club is, that sounds good to me, it looks good. They would never put it in the correct position, because you would look at it and go, that's not right. So how would they sell golf clubs doing that? <coughs> Fair enough. So, to find out the, the sweet spot of my golf club, I've got a plumb bob here. I'm just going to put it right down the middle of this shaft. Okay, this is my four iron. i put it right down the middle of this shaft, just let it hang. Somehow. Okay. There. Good. I'm just going to let this hang, see where it goes. Okay, it's a wee bit windy today. But you can see when it hangs straight down. I've put marks on the face to show you. But it sits just a little bit closer to the heel. So there's where the sweet spot is on my four iron. Okay. So it's just closer to the heel, slightly closer to the heel than it is middle, or than it is to the toe. So what's this got to do with my inline position? Well, when we take the club, we need to grip the club, and we need one, two, three, and the sweet spot, number four, all in line at impact. Okay, so all this needs to be in line at impact. So if I take my club, take my grip, okay, and as I'm looking, I can see my sweet spot. So in order to get my sweet spot in line with one, two, three, I'm going to have to close the face slightly. There we go. So you can see that face is sitting closed, pointing left. So this line, this imaginary line comes from the sweet spot down the left-hand side of the shaft, down the left, to my snuff box, okay, to my anticubital fossa, great, and then to my glenohumeral joint. Now if I come back here, so I'm in, in in line position. I'll take my stance, grip down, bend down, 
drop it straight down so it's still straight in line and there we go but now my club face is closed it's pointing well left so what I do now is from here not from here I don't want the club to go back from here but from here because this is the fulcrum the fulcrum of my swing so I bring the whole assembly back until my club face is square to my target and then I can ply my right hand on and that is me in my inline position impact position perfectly in line okay anatomically in line impact sweet spot snuff box AF GH all in line at impact so that grip the hold I put on the golf club in line with my rest of my body and my sweet spot is determined where my ball position will be from a four iron now yes this does look very straight and this is my impact position so this is where I'm going to be at impact I can now relax that address but I'll return to that inline position at impact because I've preset that already let's move to the other end of the bag so let's take wedge so wedge is slightly different sweet spots even further back on the wedge as you'll see it's very very close to the heel and the reason for that is that the lie angle is more steep on the club so if I held this shaft straight up and down this is more downwards than it was with my four iron so again if I take my plumb bob which I've done already because I've put the marks on the face but it'll give you an idea I'll just prove the point okay so if I can hang this straight down oh it's windier now but you'll see we will try and steady it there we go so you can see that the sweet spot is nearer the heel for the wedge so this is going to be even more dramatic so now I take my position so I close my club face Henrik Stenson see when you see Henrik Stenson playing golf Henrik Stenson's got a lot of left hand growing here he's really getting his grip get himself sorted out he's getting himself down and then he's in his position every shot is really really focused and precise about how he puts his left hand on the club because he's getting all this he's getting his inline anatomically inline position in line with his sweet spot at address so he knows at impact that's where he's going to be that's the best chance to get his club face square at impact so here we go, so now if I take my, this is how close I'm going to, this club face is going to be I'm going to come down just to make this easier for me So I'll try and keep it all in line There we go Okay, so you can see how close that face is, because the sweet spot's close to the heel, it's turned further left if you like So it now comes straight down, in line with my snuff box My antecubital fossa My glenohumeral joint Take my dress position Stance, here we go, come straight down Straight down, 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 with line with here Great, so it's all straight in line I then come from, not from here Very important Okay, come from here, the whole assembly comes back, 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 back There There we go, so it's now get myself in line It's in line Apply right hand That is my impact position for my wedge I can then from there, I can relax Take my dress position And return back to my inline position at impact I told you this was more in depth <laughs> but that's how it works that's that's how the body works you know we swing from here one two three four all in line straight line down there move it all back to where the ball position is going to be there and then I can come back and poof, at impact one two three four in line four iron not quite as dramatic right around there we go impact position one, two, three, four. So you can see how the ball position for the four iron was further forward because the club face wasn't as close to begin with, so it didn't have to move as far back. So that's how ball position is determined by your grip. So there you are, guys. Um, there's nothing really more to add to that. that, that guys, that's the third video done. So we've done um, beginner, intermediate, now we've done elite golfer, and we've covered loads about the grip. Um, hope it's all helped you, you can jump through any level you want I mean you might feel as though the beginner stage is great, you've picked some up from that but also the intermediate, uh, sorry the elite stage you've taken a little bit from that that's helped you out with ball position and things but it just shows you how gripping the club can have an effect on all different parts of your game so it's not just about the hold, it's about ball flight, trajectories and also ball position Guys if you like this stuff please 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 just share it all around try to grow this channel as much as we can pass on as much information as possible the more we pass on the more everyone enjoys our golf the more people stay members of the golf club and we all get better. <laughs>